Welcome back to Clown's Garage. In this video, I will be diagnosing a rich condition on a flex fuel vehicle. Now the car I'm working on is a Chevy Impala. It's 2007 with a 3.5 flex fuel engine in it. So every other engine, there are slight variations in these parameters. Now to perform some of the procedures I'll be doing today, you will need a scan tool with a fuel composition parameter which you can reset. I'll be using a Tech 2 and I believe some snap-on scanners also have this capability. Now before hooking up a scanner for rich condition you should always check for vacuum leaks, injector leaks, high fuel pressure, dirty air filters, dirty mass airflow sensors and make sure your oxygen sensors are working properly. Uh, this particular car has been giving us uh, intermittent check engine light for a couple of weeks on and off. Uh, no drivability issues, no performance issues. So we're going to go ahead now and start the scanner. Uh, make sure your engine is fully warmed up, it's in closed loop, and the engine's running. So I'm going to start off by showing you the DTC that this car is throwing. Uh, P0172 a fuel trim system rich condition. Okay, first thing I want to check is the mass airflow sensor before I check anything else. Okay, at idle, the mass airflow sh sensor should be anywhere between 3 to 10. Here it's 4.17. So mass airflow sensor seems like it's good. The next thing I would want to check is the, ma is the map sensor. So let's go check that. Here we go. The map sensor should be anywhere between 19 to 42 at idle. This is 31. So both the map and the MAF are good. So let's go down to fuel ethanol alcohol composition. Right here. Fuel alcohol content, 26%. This car is not at 26%. I'm actually putting fuel that's less than 10% ethanol. So all I have to do here now is reset this. Alright, now to reset the fuel alcohol content, you keep on hitting exit to get out of this. Exit again. And you go to special functions. Hit enter. Then you go to fuel system. Enter. You go to fuel composition reset, enter, alright, hit enter again, now you can reset this mofo by hitting reset counters, enter, and it's down to one. Now I'm just going to clear the DTC. Clear display DTCs, clear ECU DTCs, clear that, and zero DTCs. And we're good. Okay, so I drove the car for a couple of weeks. The check engine light didn't come up. It seems like we uh, nipped the issue in the butt. And I hooked up the scanner again, just to double check if there's any DTCs that popped up. So let me go in there. and zero DTCs. Now let's also check our fuel trim data. Go in there. Our short-term fuel trim is at zero percent. Between zero and two swings down to minus one. Long-term is zero, which is good. It's not running lean or rich. So let's go up to alcohol percentage, fuel alcohol content, and it's at 0%, which is also good. So what I think happened to this car is about a week or two before it started getting a check engine light, the car was run almost down to empty in the gas tank, and when it was filled up, Sometimes that triggers a, a fuel composition relearn. 
So it relearned it at the wrong composition amount, which was that 26 we saw when we first reset it. So I would recommend whenever you reset this to zero, try to find a gas station that would have the lowest amount of ethanol available so you could put in so it would be close to zero. What you want is a difference of less than 10% of what you're putting in versus what it's showing here. There are also fuel composition testers, but they're very expensive, which will test the exact amount of alcohol in your gas to see if it's within that 10% range of what's over here. So that's how you reset your fuel composition percentage on your flex fuel engine. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like me and share me. See ya!